I think a lot of this comes down to a matter of trust. Uh, Marcus Fish, the Conservative MP, has written a piece for Brexit Central this morning, which we just published, where he accuses people inside government of lying to MPs' faces about what they are doing. Uh, There's a sense almost that if the government were to admit that, yes, it has breached its red lines, but this is the best we could do, there might be a little more sympathy amongst Conservative backbenchers who are uneasy about the deal. But somebody said to me after the 1922 committee meeting on Monday when Theresa May spoke to uh, the Conservative backbenchers, that, that, that the government is speaking in, in doublespeak. They're, they're, they're claiming X when they're actually doing the exact opposite. And that's, that's causing, it's causing MPs to feel they can't trust the Prime Minister. So how that makes that country feel, goodness only knows. There's a lot of people asking you whether there is actually some sort of plot on that they actually, you know, this has been, you know, the EU and, and, and are now very much a Remain dominated cabinet and government uh, sort of in cahoots. Certainly the, the, the Remain supporting totally fully signed up Europhiles who will make up the civil service and particularly in number 10. Uh, that this is, this is all a big plot, you know, basically delay everything, delay everything until everyone gets so scared of no deal that they'll agree to sign up to something which is bricks in name only. To you at Brexit Central, you've been campaigning for many years on Brexit. Do you you think there is something slightly fishy going on? I mean, there are people, there are serious people in Westminster whom I respect who actually do take this view that that, no, there has been this concerted effort behind closed doors on the part of certainly those at the top of the civil service, if not those directly around number 10, in order to do that. Uh, If that is true, they are absolutely playing with fire.